All right, what's up, everyone? We're back in the Aurora Glade. Yeah. Um, I think we need to do finish. There's a quest I forgot to turn in really quick, so we're gonna go back to Ventari's refuge. Talk to old Ventari here. This was one of the coolest skins I think in Prophecies. It's the first like, I guess I guess there were dwarf NPCs. I think this was probably like groundbreaking whenever they got to this point in the game the first friendly centaur npc very unique skin i always like ventar he's cool and lore wise he's extremely important in field wars if you know the lore behind ventari uh feel free to fill people in in the comments i know there's a couple lore uh field wars lore fans in the comments so i'm interested in your take on ventari very cool character. There was a time once when humans and centaurs lived in peace, but that was long, long ago. I'm afraid I will not live to see such a time come again, Tateria. What brings you, my Dell friend? All right. Oh, I thought it was turning it in. What? It... How did I not do this quest? Weird. Um, let's do this quest really quick. I guess. Uh, this. Yeah. Let's bring um. Cool. Let's bring the mage because he does have. We're still running this fragility condition um, build. It's pretty fun. I like how spammable it was. It served us well in the last episode. We are just defending it against these white mantle freaks. I really like this arcane thievery spell. We discovered some cool things about it last episode. Yeah, I don't know why this build just seems to... I don't know if it's the build that's doing it or our NPCs are just suddenly beasts or what. We're just melting people. I think this, I think this quest is pretty quick. I don't mind doing it before this, so. We do get an inscribed chakram. Chakram? Chakram? Well, we might make. Hurry up. I'm having some PS issues, it looks like. Hopefully that clears up soon. I won't have to restart this. Yeah, okay. And okay. Nope. <laughs> he did some teleporting. Interesting. Talk to Counselor Valor. We're having some interesting NPC. Anyway, what did we get? Ooh. Not great. 5% chance cast the halving time of spells and armor plus 5. I think the 10 energy is good. The armor plus 5 versus elemental damage is not bad, but the armor 5 while enchanted and health while enchanted is just too good for this. So that's going to be garbage. Garbage. Let's go back to Aurora Glen. I'm glad we did that quest. It was pretty easy. Um, Sell off some junk. Okay, I think for some reason just that little weird section, I had some issues with FPS. Seems to be okay now. My inventory, my inventory is a little packed. I guess let's use some of this stuff. You know. Want to make some inventory space for this mission oh cool we're using a sparkler in town all right i'm getting distracted here aurora glade everybody let's start this i'm actually doing laundry at the same time so i want to try and finish this mission before the laundry finishes can we do it i'm not sure 
Um, I what I am sure of is there's no possible way we can do this bonus. I think without another human player, so we're gonna go through as well as we can with these henchmen. And yeah, I was just about to say, seeing as we're in the jungle, I'm expecting spiders, but it came down before I could warn myself. I'll try to use my mouse more so you can see what skills I'm using. Generally, the rotation of this build is fragility first, and then phantom pain. If Phantom Pain's on cooldown, I just immediately go to Immolate and Blinding Flash. And then I use... I make sure to use Shatter Delusions on my Phantom Pain to get that uh, deep wound. You can see the health bar go there. Ooh, Birthday Cupcake. And then... Um, once I cast my Conditions... If I'm able to, if I have enough time, I cast Epidemic to spread them to the enemies. That does some AoE damage from my Fragility trigger. But most likely they're dead by that point, which it's a win-win situation there. The goal is to cast Fragility while they're clumped up like that. So they're all, they all have the same Hex on them right now. And that, oh, that was, that was pretty beastly. That... Shatter Delusions AoE. Very nice. Shatter Delusions AoE plus the Fragility. One thing I keep forgetting to do is I want to. I actually want to try and do Phantom Pain, then Shatter Delusions, and then Epidemic to spread that Deep Wound to everyone. Then that'll be a huge damage AoE damage spike, actually. I would love to pull off that ability. Oh, they were just separated far enough away where fragility to trigger there. Phantom. Shattered Delusion. Boom. Really satisfying build. And I think it's just going to get more and more powerful as I gain levels. So. Very, very cool. Uh, do I go this way or that way? I think it doesn't matter. All right, check this out. Phantom Pain, Shattered Delusion, Epidemic. Boom, he got he got the deep wound there. That's a nice combo. Comment down below how many enjoy that combo. <laughs> Agility, Phantom Pain, Shatter, Epidemic. See, look at that. By the time I switched to him, he was already like 25% health. Really good builds. Loving it. And since it is the anniversary, we're getting tons of these uh, item drops. I haven't really used them too much. I've used some like... Um, might have used some honeycombs at some point, but... I haven't really made too much use of them yet. We might... We might dabble in them. In this mission if it gets a little hairy. The uh, birthday cupcake is quite powerful. What does it do again? 100% or 100 maximum health, 10 energy, 25% movement speed for 10 minutes. The problem with the movement speed though is it only affects me and it... It's going to cause me to get separated from my henchmen, actually. Oh, it's not... Ooh, why is he almost dead? Blinding flash is always good on the... Um, yeah, melee goons. Boonga. Boonga boonga. Enemies. Oh, they were fighting some um shining blade got or is that a white mantle? That's a white mantle. Ah yeah, I remember this. Bolt, the iron boot heel. Very recognizable enemy. Got an abbot, so we want to target the monk first. Level 18, dang. Ah, 
kind of wanted to use Arcane Thievery on that guy, but it might work out. Why is he, like, healing so much? Oh, I forgot this is Kin Energy. Why is he... What's healing him? Like, he's regenerating health. Does he have, like, vampiric weapon or something? That was weird. I didn't... S oh, no, he uses the... Sh he uses that I will avenge you. Pretty... OP for this level. It's like a shout that warrior casts, and it's you can't you can't uh, disenchant it, and it gives him like a bunch of uh, health regeneration per I think it's per downed enemy. It's quite powerful. Use some arcane thievery on him. Aftershock. Nice. Take away his damaging skill. Does it does arcane thievery this yeah, it disables it too. Really effective for this level because the enemies don't have full skill bars anyway. So it just removes a skill bar there. Yeah, once I once I pull off this full combo, it it basically hundred to zeros. Especially the, the squishy enemies. Very fun. Oh yeah, I forgot to explain like what's happening in this. Um, actually, I'm not really sure. I just know we're kind of going, we're kind of doing this like loop de loop around here. We're either hunting the white mantle or running from the white mantle. I can't remember. I think we're I think we're we're on the offensive. I believe we're hunting them down. We're kicking them out of the jungle basically. Mo pushing them back towards Krita. Correct me if I'm wrong. Did I just go in a big loop? Yeah, didn't I? Well, more experience. I felt like I was following the um you know, the route of the, the mission was taking me. You know, I'm just kind of following as the enemies take me. Huh. The way we needed to go from the beginning. We'd, we'd Kindle Run. Let's use Arcane Thievery from the beginning here. Nice, no ice spikes for you. Ooh, Maelstrom is pretty brutal. That would be a good one to run as a Mesmer Elementalist, actually. Maelstrom plus, um, what's it called? Chaos Storm? I believe it causes, it's like AoE damage, first damage over time, and it, like, interrupts or something. They're attacked. Dang, this is not where I go either. We're kind of floundering here. I'm getting all... There we go. Looks like a dead end. Man! I should have pulled up a map or something. What the heck? <laughs> I'm gonna speed this part up. I can't find out where to go. Go down here. Oh, there's some enemies. Let's follow these guys. Ah, I'm supposed to turn right up here. To go up there. They definitely, the developers definitely placed those soldiers there to get our attention. <laughs> They're like, hey, go this way. That's nice of the developers. They must have realized afterwards that the level design was quite um, confusing. 
per dead ally you get 10 set you gain 10 seconds per dead ally so it lasts wow that lasts a long time if you have multiple dead allies Oh, it's not the most efficient rotation there. Okay, I remember this. I remember this mission. We have to put these crystals, thorn thing, these crystals on these thorn pedestals. But the enemies also have their own crystal. And so you need to make sure they don't cover up your crystal with their crystal, blah, blah, blah. You see where it's going. You'll see. It's very easy if you have other players, but it's very annoying if you not. Um, talk to the druid. Get the thorn crystal. Put it here, and then this is going to change blue. Yeah. Hinge portal. A bit for let's steal divine intervention accidentally shattered my fragility there rookie mistake we're flying through this mission don't get cocky though don't get cocky, kid. Seriously, though, this build is... Like... Changed. The game. You were really struggling there at the beginning of Maguma Jungle. I mean, these Wind Riders are not very pleasant to fight, but... Condition spam. Really nice. I think this is where we go. Oh, I don't need to... I keep forgetting I don't need to recast Fragility whenever I change targets because it's AoE Hex. A lot of noob mistakes here. This map is so confusing. Look at that. Like, if I were to screenshot that map and say, hey, just follow this, uh, it's very hard to follow. That's why I think um, in Guild Wars 2, with the Heart of Thorns expansion, I felt like they did a really good job in this section of the map, where they uh, added the layers, like... They made it more vertical based. I thought it I thought they really captured recaptured the feeling of Maguma Jungle from Guild Wars 1. I know I hate Guild War, hate on Guild Wars 2 a lot, but Heart of Thorns was pretty decent. But What do you think? I mean, don't get me wrong. Guild Wars 1 all the way, but I'll give props where props are due. Lion man. Abbott. Arcane thievery. Nice. That's such a good one to steal. Oh, it's an anti necromancer hex though, not mesmer hex. It gives an ally plus 10 armor for each Necromancer Hex that was... That's a pretty high casting skill. 15 energy, and it really only counters Necromancer Hex. Not a... I mean, it's very niche. If you're in a... If you're going into an area that you know lots of enemy Mesmers are in, that's one thing, but... As a general, like, Hex removal spell, it's pretty... Not great. Come on, spike him down. Nice. Is there an abbot here? No, there isn't.
I also keep forgetting Phantom Pain has a nice minus three health degeneration. So if I ever, if I need to, I could leave it on a little bit longer, deal some damage over time. But generally, the deep wound like spike is um. It's a, it, it ends up doing more damage than the damage over time for sure. I'm not picking up this stuff just because I don't really have a lot of inventory space. And it goes to the... Like, I think I can get the... I can get it later anyway. Oh yeah, I want to go here because there's a boss. Don't skimp on the... Uh, don't miss out on morale boost if you have a chance. Always comes in handy later. Dodge's insight, let's put that on our fighter. Plus 20% armor penetration. Henrik the Believer. That's a pretty cool name. Level 20 Necromancer. We need to take out these two guys. Oh, we need to rescue this person, I think. Save him. Let's cast a uh, blinding flash, epidemic. The wicked mantle are led by a wicked evil man. Oh, sorry, the white mantle led by a wicked evil man. He is their champion. They call him the demagogue. He drives the mantle for- okay, so this is the bonus. Bonus objective. We are not going to be able to do this. Until he has been brought down, the mantle will always have strength. I guess they're always going to have strength. There's no way we can do this without human players. I can already tell you that. I mean, we may not even be able to succeed in this mission. Honestly. Hope we do. Don't get me wrong. I wish my teammates, my henchmen, reacted to AoE as well as the enemies do. Steering Heat is just such a rough damage skill. It does like spike AoE damage over time. It's crazy. And melt an entire team, one skill. Horn Pedestal. So this time, yeah, it's kind of, kind of teaching you. You need to put two here. Can I drop this? I can't. I have to get another one. All right. Phantom the Indulgent. Oops. Move my screen down a little. Hopefully that didn't glitch anything. Ooh, I will pick this up. This has been... Okay, not bad. The notice one of these um, is white and one of them is red. So it is the... The, um, the game is kind of teaching us here. What happens if we turn... Does it change red to blue or drive to put... I think it does. I don't think we have to place two, do we? Yeah, it goes straight to blue. Uh, I One thing that I might do, though, is the... Um, I might use a birthday, can a birthday cake for this, for that 10% movement speed. 
I think that'll guarantee a victory here. I'm gonna use one. Because it'll let me run the crystals faster. And then I can park my team at one pedestal. And they should be able to defend it. Gosh, I hope so. Okay, let's pop a birthday candle. And we're going to send all of our guys here. Go ahead. Okay, this one really quick since I'm here. I'm going to run over there. Hopefully my team doesn't get wiped. Should be fine. They immediately get wiped. I'm going to laugh so hard. I think we're going to do it. Birthday cake for the win. Stay there defending it. They did pull off the pedestal. I think I should have moved my team to that one. I think we're okay though. I think that's it. Can I get there in time? Hopefully you don't go over there. He changed it already. Not gonna be as easy. Move him here. He needs to stop the runner. My team needs to stop the runner before he can change the pedestal. Go, 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 go. Yeah. I'm really glad we had the birthday cake. I think we got it. Go, 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 go. Boom, that's it. We did it. Oh, ho, ho, very nice. That was like a speed run almost. That was one of the fastest missions I think I've done. Would have been a good screenshot. Let's do a screenshot here. Whoops. Did I just skip it? Oh, the mission's not over. Okay. Sorry, I was trying to get a cool screenshot. I thought that was the end of the mission. What are we doing here? Look out this birthday cake. Pretty OP. What did we get? Tons of energy, tons of health, and movement speed. Very nice. Now that I now that I did that first part so easily, I kind of I kind of wish I did attempt the bonus. We might have been able to do it. But look how far I get ahead of my team. I need to slow down a little bit. Or walk backwards. <laughs> hey I think this is the end up here. Need to be careful though. Why is my fighter henchman like so low health?
Hinge Guardian. What's the Hinge Guardian? Hinge like. Don't hinge, hinge? Like a druid, druid, druidic reference? It makes sense because we have. We have been helping the druids, or the druids have been helping us, rather. Oh, nice. We get fa Fount of uh, Maguma. Let's take out these ads first. Oh, that I will survive is kind of a counter to our build. You see that? It does um, health regeneration for each um, condition you're under. Shouldn't matter because we're really applying conditions for flat damage triggering from fragility. We don't really care about the, the condition damage. Actually. It doesn't counter us. My conditions have really short um, durations. Doesn't really matter much. Finished it. Boom. All right, let's get a quick screenshot here. No. Good one. I was a little nervous for this mission, actually. I remember just like having so many attempts on this. Why did we come here again? Well done. Thank you. <laughs> now we have a safe place from which to strike back at the white man. Well done. Thank Today, you. Today the tides have been turned. Come on, the old Druid temple should be just over the waterfall. It's time to take a look at our new home. Very interesting script writing here. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> that was kind of weird. A new chapter now lies open for Tilia. Who's talking? The has been turned, and the conflict begins in earnest. All is as I have foreseen. Why is my volume so low? Weird. All right, we did it. Hinge of Dinravi. We've made it here. Oh, this is not a mission area though. What do we get? Let's let's scout out this area. Skills, weapons, armor. Let's look at the armor. We we've gone far, pretty far without upgrading our armor. I generally want to go as far as possible without upgrading. I think, unless we really have trouble, because I want to save my gold. Yeah, it's a slight upgrade. I don't think we're gonna do it. I want to save my gold for max armor, even though that is a ways away. Let's sell. Let's harvest this. Um. I think both of these are kind of worth worth quite a bit. Let's oh, let's harvest both. All worth and all oh, inventory. Okay, let's sell something really quick. Oh, we got a proof of legend from that. So, let's see how much this is worth. The Rune of Attun Attunement's not bad. Let's just sell it. I need gold. I love gold. Uh, Alright, yeah, we'll end it here. Good job, everybody. If you made it this far in my playthrough, thank you for watching. Um, I love this build. It's working out well. I think it's going to serve me well for the n near future. Um, it'll be changed maybe back to domination i don't know what we're gonna do but right now it's working pretty well so next time we come back we might do some quests around here and get to the next mission area which i'm not sure where we're gonna go 
I also kind of want to go back and do... It's telling us to do the Villainy of Galrath. That's a pretty sweet mission. I wouldn't mind going back to do that. But anyway, for now, let's call this day. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!